Good afternoon and welcome to Lunch with Loretta at Choice Farm Market. I want to formally introduce my co-host, Bree. She was on with us uh, last month, but um, she's going to be permanent co-host with me. And um, so, Bree, why don't you tell them a little bit about yourself? Okay. Um, hi. Uh, my first name is Brielle. You can call me Bree if you ever see me in the store. Um, I am a dance teacher. Um, I also perform in musicals and stuff like that. Um, and I work here at Choice Farm Market as social media coordinator and also helping with planning some events. So that's a little bit about me. Yeah. We actually just did an event um, February 7th, I believe it was. It was mm -hmm. Ladies and Ladles. And um, it was very successful. We were very pleased with that. And um, people are looking forward to, to more events and stuff. And I know Bree's got some excellent ideas of, of you know, some of the events we can do in the mm -hmm. future. So yeah, excited. Ladies and Ladles was really fun to start um, planning because that's the first one that I kind of came in on and was able to help a little bit. Um, and you already had such great ideas and you knew what you wanted with Ladies and Ladles. And um, unfortunately I could, I wasn't able to be there, but I hear that they, we had some good feedback and people had fun. Um, do we want to talk a little bit about like what happened there with Ladies and Ladles or? Well, yeah. So what we did was we, um, we it was soups in a jar. And so we cooked up three soups ahead of time and that would have, then they had their choice of which two soups that they wanted to create. And so we had, you know, all the ingredients laid out and then they just kind of layered it in the jar as they went through. We, we did have recipes. We just got them off Pinterest or whatever and, yeah. and picked ones that, that we thought were good. And we actually had cooked them ahead of time, you know, a month or so ago to see which ones we liked. And we picked those three. And um, so then the, the ladies, after they did that, they got to create their little gift tag for them. Mm -hmm. And then we enjoyed some, some other items that we carry in the stores, some chips and salsa and crackers and dip. And then they got a bread bowl to take home with them. And Brie made some cute little spoons uh, with different sayings on that they got to choose to take uh, home with them as well. So it was we had full dinner, uh, brownies and everything. So came with a dinner and then the craft part of it, which mm -hmm. I think that might be a good format to follow. Yeah. Yeah, we want to try to do some crafty things and, you know, um, get people together and do fun stuff together. So I think more ideas and and events will be coming along, we'll see. Yeah, and if you guys have any suggestions, make those suggestions in our comments. We we always love to hear feedback and, and suggestions, and and we do, you know, we do listen. We, we are carrying products that people have suggested, and so mm -hmm. we, we hear you, yeah. yes. One of our other events that we had planned was actually the Sprinkle with Love event, and that happened on February 10th. Um, and we kind of got that idea from an event that you did in the past during Christmas time, which was the Santa Claus um, photos and also decorating donuts. Yeah. So instead of doing donuts, this time we did heart-shaped cookies. Mm -hmm. And we, we thought we were gearing it towards kids, but actually Bree's grandma and aunt came. So. Hi, grandma. So, so, so fun for all ages. And we're going to show you some pictures and uh, so you can kind of see what happened and, and how much fun everybody had with that. Yes. So. But, and we had a uh, suggestion about doing some some cooking, some cooking demonstrations, yeah. showing people they're like, you, you guys are meat experts. <laughs> well, we, we grow good beef, but um, I wouldn't know, I wouldn't go as far as saying, you know, is that we're experts as far as cooking it. Um, no. <laughs> I, I do a good job, um, and, and Bree's <laughs> bailed me out a oh couple times gosh. at a family <laughs> event, but, um, Anyway, so so cooking, we can we can get together and, and everybody kind of you know cook a meal or whatever. Mm -hmm. That might be something to, to explore. Yeah, yeah, It'd be fun. Um, today we're going to be talking about finding your your niche. So talking about our niches, I like I said at the beginning of the episode, um, I am a dance teacher. So my niche actually from a young age, I I knew my niche was dance or just being creative because I love crafting whenever we do our crafting weekends um, or painting, um, just anything creative like that I really love. But dance was always the one thing that I found myself drawn to again and again. So 
Growing up, it was always dance classes. I would do more and more and more. Um, luckily, my mom was very supportive, and you guys too. You've come to a couple of my shows. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think the first time I saw you on stage, you were four. Oh, really? You were, where is it? You were singing with. Oh no. Um, yep, <laughs> singing with um, the priest at our yes. church and. Take me out so, to the ball game. Yep, <laughs> yep. It was so cute. You're so cute. Oh well, <laughs> I do remember that. It is burned in my brain. I'm not sure if it was four, but it was a very young age, and it was cute. I, yes, I, I was forced to do that one. No, I was. <laughs> <laughs> I think I really did like that. But um, growing up, it was it was always dance. So, and now that I'm a dance teacher, I get to kind of share that, and I'm seeing my students develop their niches. Like they'll come in and they'll tell me what they're excited about, which is always super great. Um, and then I can see that they're getting excited about what I get excited about, which is just the best part of being a dance teacher. So, yeah. and I think it's important. Um, to be excited oh, yes. about something you're good at. I mean, there are people that are good at certain things, but yet that's not really their passion. Yeah, you have to love what your niche is. Yeah, yeah, and I think that's that's the difference between having you know a skill and and finding your niche. Oh, yeah, is that is that passion? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see that you guys love what you do here. You can yeah. you can see it everywhere with the, the events that you're planning and the fact that you're reaching out to your community, asking what they want. Um, the products that you're giving, your niche here is you love your community and you want to give back to them. So, yeah, yeah, and we get all, you know, like I said earlier, you know, we, we listen to what they want and, you know, as much as we can and try to fulfill that. And, and being that everything that, or most things that we have in the store are local and, you know, we just love you know, helping our community with the help of our community. It's mm -hmm. just, yeah, what we enjoy doing. And and we're really excited about, um, you know, adding the tasting room with the Bergdorf's Winery. Um, again, you know, we, we chose that specifically because it's a truly Michigan wine mm -hmm. and uh, things are grown, you know, what they, what they put in their wine is grown locally. And so, and uh, we're, we're excited, a little bit of an update, because we said we'd bring you guys along on this journey. Yes. So we've been meeting and, and getting quotes and estimates on the different mechanical, electrical, plumbing of the building. Mm -hmm. um, we've got it staked out. We've got um, the or the engineer is, is finishing the drawings. We finally you know approved the last drawing, so he's, he's um, working on finalizing that. So that's really exciting. Yeah. It, it feels like the, the it's coming together then. It, a yep. little bit quicker than you think, but yeah. it'll be a process for sure. Yep. Yep. So we've talked a bit about my niche. Now, I actually am curious, how did you come to find this niche? Well, it's kind of um, like a series of events, in it, and it's kind of like like evolution. We, we had the dairy herd when, when Todd and I were first married, mm -hmm. um, and his niche with, with that was um, the genetics. Todd was very, very good at um, choosing the right genetics, and, and he had registered cattle, and um, actually when we sold the herd, uh, we had we had buyers from California. We had buyers from nine different states. That's really uh, cool. Yeah. I, I had no idea about that. And so that's you know when we started the Benjamin Beef, um, you know that was kind of our our niche with with the beef herd. Um, he's also done the TLC corn, which we have an upcoming um, video. Uh, you know, kind of it'll explain that it, that that's a niche. That's the something that nobody else is doing, and. Um, that kind of evolved into us, you know, purchasing Nature's Flame and selling the corn stoves because, you know, the people that we bought it from were retiring and they were the only ones around. So we we thought, well, if our corn customers can't find parts or or um, service for the stoves, you know, we're going to lose our, our corn customers. So we started that, but that was kind of going parallel with the beef business. And um, during COVID, actually, our beef business just went um, crazy because, uh, you know, nobody had meat in the store. And then I think people were also learning a little bit about, oh, you know, 
the, they were finding out where their beef that they were buying in the grocery store was coming from, and I think a lot of it turned a lot of people off. Yeah. So then we went to um, planning. Hey, if we got the beef, and we know these people, you know, the Droshas had the syrup, and we knew that the Westendorps had Mooville. And it's like, let's bring all these to one location so that people in our community, you know, have a source for quality food at, you know, a reasonable price. So mm -hmm. that's kind of where we found our niche. And now we're just going to make this, you know, like a destination for families. We've got the, you know, the fall activities that we've done. Yep. Um, and we're gonna grow that. We're gonna, you know, obviously we've already announced, you know, we're putting in the tasting room for Bergdorf's Winery. Mm -hmm. And so just, you know, just have the family come out and, and quality time. Yeah. So. That's really nice. Yeah. I, I had no idea about the cows and the genetics with Uncle Todd. And um, I knew about Nature's Flame for a while because whenever we would go over to your house, you would have your business there. So it's kind of nice to see how you went from just raising and growing cows to Choice Farm Market. Yeah, so you know we're just kind of always building on on that idea and, and you know of of providing opportunities for our community um, to have the quality food, reasonable prices, mm -hmm. family fun, family atmosphere out here. We're going to grow our adventure portion this summer. Each year we plan to add just, you know, a couple more activities out there. Yeah. And, um, you know, just to, to keep going and, and looking forward to the future. Keep expanding your niche. Yeah. yeah. Um, and with my niche, you know, with dance, I'll keep going into that. And I'm sure many of you out there have your own niche, or if you haven't found it yet, just find something that you love that isn't necessarily like, a skill, but something that you can do well that you enjoy. Yeah, so I don't think your niche has to be something where you feel like you're an expert at anything. Oh, yeah. It's all about the passion. Mm -hmm. All yeah. about the passion. Even if you have a niche and you don't know how to do it yet, start learning. Yeah, yeah. Learning is part of the fun. Oh, yeah. I, I think it definitely took a lot of learning to create this place. So, yeah. all right. So I guess the big question is, what is your niche? Yes, please let us know in the comments what your niche is. We love reading uh, the comments that you guys put out there. If you are enjoying what we're doing here, please share us and like us on Facebook and social media. If you miss an episode, you can always uh, catch up with us on our YouTube channel, Choice Farm Market. Mm -hmm. Have a great day. <laughs>